Hi everybody. Today what we're talking about is a question that I get not that often, but the thing is when I do get it, I'm always kind of surprised because to me the answer seems really obvious. Uh, but in thinking about it and in looking back over the various instances in which I've gotten this question, uh, I can understand why people uh, you know, bother to ask and they're always rather surprised by the answer. So the question that I get is this, Andy, whenever I sign something for you, why do you always insist on blue pen? You know, you harp on blue, use blue, use blue, use blue. Why do you do that? Why is black not enough? You know, if I use a black pen and a blue pen, isn't it the same thing? Uh, in most practical instances, you know, in most you know, kind of everyday use, it actually is the same thing. I mean, as long as you can actually have a signature on whatever document you're signing, that's you know, going to be the most important thing. In the legal context, though, there is a difference between blue and black, and it's this. Uh, when you sign something, obviously, for court, uh, you know, there are going to be very, uh, a lot of copies and stuff that are going to get made. You know, you know the judge is going to get a copy. Uh, the other the opposing lawyer is going to get a copy, you know, um, certain experts might want a copy, you're going to want to keep a copy, etc. So, uh, whenever you sign something in blue, in comparison to all the other text on the page, which is most likely going to be printed in black, a blue signature actually is one very easy way to tell if a signature is an original, like if somebody actually took pen to paper to, you know, write their name. If you, cut, if you take that, you know, that same blue signature and you photocopy it, to you know, keep, keep a copy of that same document for your records, to serve a copy on the other side, etc. That blue signature is going to photocopy as black and white, most likely. Obviously, you can photocopy something and print it out in color, but you know, let's ignore that situation because it's relatively rare. Most of the time these days when someone makes a copy, it's going to be in black and white. And a blue signature, when you copy, it's going to come out black. So a black signature versus a blue signature, it's very easy to tell what's, a, what's an original and what's a copy. However, if you do the same thing with a black signature, like a black ink that's actually you know, signed um, the person's name, it's not so easy to tell. Like a black signature in pen is going to photocopy as a black signature on, on the copy also. So if you have an original and a copy and the original is signed in black, you really can't tell at a glance what's the original and what's the copy. Uh, in certain instances, it's actually going to be quite important that you have an original signature versus a photocopied signature. Uh, it's relatively rare, but in court, for example, the court is going to want an original signature and they're going to want it signed in blue. Um, that's just a very easy way to kind of tell if a signature is original or a copy. Uh, so that's it, actually. Like, people are always very surprised when I tell them that because most of the time, if you've never really thought about it, in life, you actually you know, use black ink probably more often. Uh, if you've ever tried to buy ballpoint pens, most of the time you'll see black a lot more often than you see blue. Uh, you'll see red and green occasionally, but you know, black is going to be usually much more common than blue. And if you actually buy pens yourself, like if you have specialty pens, or sorry, specialty pens actually made, uh, the blue ink is actually going to cost you a little bit more. So uh, that's the reason. You know, blue is preferred because it's a very easy way to tell if something's an original or a copy. Uh, with black, you can do it, but you got to take the document, kind of, you know, turn it sideways, kind of squint and look like that to kind of tell. So uh, instead of going through that rigmarole, it's actually a lot easier just to use blue. So that's the reason. Um, not a lot of people, you know, kind of realize that, and they're always kind of surprised when I kind of go through the explanation. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. And if you ever wonder, I guess, you know, the next time someone tells you to use blue, that most likely uh, this whole reason uh, is the uh, actual reason they're doing that. So. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you later and hope you guys are well. Bye.